I guess real quick, I'm going to do my Tamara Jenkins rankings here mm -hmm. uh, just because it'll inform how I felt about the movie. So number one, Private Lives, incredible movie. I can't believe you haven't seen it. It's a Paul Giamatti. You just said Paul Giamatti is your favorite actor aside from Philip Seymour Hoffman. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And this is an amazing Paul Giamatti performance, like very much on par with what he's done, what he did in Holdovers. And yet he got no love for Private Lives and mm -hmm. mega lauded for Holdovers. And mega, Holdovers is great. Play drives or not. It's great. But he's incredible in Private Lives. And so is Catherine Hahn. And so is everyone. Um, there's a John Carroll Lynch, small role for John Carroll Lynch. Yeah. And he's He's delightful. He's so great in it. He plays Paul Giamatti's brother. Awesome pairing. Anyway, that's number one with a bullet. That's a four and a half star movie. I love Private Lives. Number two, Slums of Beverly Hills, which a lot of people have probably heard of. It's sort of the beginning of Natasha Leone's career. Jewish people love it because it's like a small Jewish movie from the 90s. And and it's got Alan Arkin. So, and Marissa Tomei. I mean, it's an, and David Krumholtz. It's oh, like- Oh, I've not seen this movie. Yeah, it's it's awesome. <laughs> um, that's uh, That also is really good. It's, it, uh, oh, and uh, what's his name? Scorsese's guy, Kevin Corrigan. Just like- killing. Oh, yeah. I've met that guy. Really? Yeah, he, uh, the year, remember, I've talked about Big Fan on the podcast before. Mm. Uh, he was at the Traverse City Film Festival the year that Big Fan played there. He and like Pat Oswalt was there too, and everything. Like, so yeah, I say I met him. It was like in passing, sort of thing. Right. Like it was at a film festival type of setting. But uh, yeah, he was there for Big Fan because he's actually might be the best part of the movie, and it's maybe his. It's probably the funniest thing he's done. Jessica Walter from Arrested Development and Carl Reiner are both in it too. Mm -hmm. That was her debut movie. That's Tamara Jenkins' debut movie, and she only made one movie every ten years or so far. And then the third is this one. The Savages, which I also liked a lot. With this one, I did not really feel like I had a way in. I felt a little removed from it because of the dementia stuff. I didn't want to get too upset. So I sort of felt like I kept the movie at bay a little bit. But also, Laura Linney and Philip Seymour Hoffman's characters are so unlikable, and that does not make a movie bad. But it did make it hard for me to, to sympathize with either of them. In every case, I just thought, well, I don't care what happens to you. You stink. Until the cat showed up. And then I was very invested in what happened to the cat. Genghis, great name for um, a cat. And Molly, the dog? Marley. Marley. Oh, that's weird that her name was Marley. Yeah. She was a golden retriever. And I think it was before, yeah, it was before Marley and me came out. In the book, too. Well, spoiler alert, this Marley doesn't die. And that that's is right. absolutely a spoiler for the end of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this Marley lives. 